Okay, good morning from the backyard homestead. Things are really taking off here and I'll take you down the line. Obviously our trellises from last week are up and running. Basically, we have some exploding uh, yellow zucchinis back there. Can't wait to see them climbing up the trellis. We have some issues with our green beans, like this guy here struggling. These are looking great. What we believe happened is that about two weeks ago when we planted them, the weather was great. And then um, just this past week, it kind of cooled off a little bit. So at night, it wasn't freezing, but it was getting down to, you know, 50-ish. And these little guys are really um, delicate as seedlings. So we're hoping that as the weather warms up, <clears throat> they do better. <laughs> Um, but just one of those things that you can't predict. Um, well, I guess you can, but <laughs> anyways, <laughs> moving along. Our peppers seem to be doing well. We had one plant, I think it was this little guy, um, that was trying to flower. So we popped those flowers off. It's too soon for this plant to be fruiting. So we're just trying to help them along, but everybody seems to be doing well. We planted some radishes here. So these little sprouts are radishes and they came up really fast what we have here in this front patch is carrots and i'm not entirely sure if that's a carrot or those are carrots they could be grass but we'll see um it's all kind of a, a trial and error thing with us <laughs> uh cucumbers seem to be doing great our little gem lettuce is popping up and exploding um our eggplant so last week we had eight eggplant uh plants we have thinned it down to four um there's they seem to be struggling a little bit i mean they, they're doing okay but they're a little dry um and i don't know they're just they seem to be so finicky and it's just weird so we did put the shade up and that seemed to help but they're not really exploding like we see the cucumbers or the um, zucchini and so it's a bit of a mystery but we'll keep going um these tomatoes are ready to get caged um they're growing fast and they're they've got a lot of weight you can see that one leaning so we we just are a little busy but we're gonna get those caged today and then fun thing i wanted to show so i did go and thin out the sunflowers um so you could see a little patch there where i pulled one out a little patch there where i pulled one out and I wasn't ready to just let them go, so I tried to transplant them. I have learned that they are too small to transplant, so this little guy falling over, probably not going to make it, but we'll keep it watered in and see what happens. But some of these other ones that I transplanted, like this one, it's just refusing to give up, and that's what we want to see. Hopefully, they'll make it. Um, some of the other transplants seems like they they made it but the interesting piece about this patch is it might not be sunny enough so since I knew I had to thin them out I said let's transplant them see what happens we have a new addition to the garden we've got a little blueberry bush sunshine blueberry this is a self pollinating blueberry bush so Usually they say you have to plant two or more together to get fruit, but this one should do it on its own. Really excited. Um, we repotted our Brugmansia trumpet flower in its own pot, and so really excited to see how much it grows. This is uh, about a year old plant, um, so we probably won't get flowers for another one to two years but it's been really fun when we first got this plant. It was a little sapling like this tall. Um, so yeah, not too much excitement happening. We put up the sunshade, like I said, the trellises look great. Little transplants are trying to survive. The garden is not without its challenges, but so far so good. I'm thinking about a drip irrigation system for, plant, uh, for watering while we're traveling and it's going to be time to get some mulch down soon now that these seedlings have popped through and we can uh, put some mulch down and the mulch will help uh, the dirt from drying 
and it'll keep some water or some moisture in there and really help these seedlings uh, not kind of get dry and dwindle down. But so far so good, no complaints. Come back next week and see what we grow.